Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this week I'm doing another haul. I finally bought some things so I'm going to show you most of the stuff that I picked up over the last two months or so. So let's get right into it. Lately I've been feeling a lot of monochrome, basic, nude colours in my wardrobe so surprisingly it's nothing too hectic. It's very different to like every haul that I've ever done before. I hope you guys like it. So the first thing I want to show you is this gorgeous cashmere jumper that I got from Moon Cats and they're a brand based in New York and this is the taupe cardigan and I freaking love how this feels. It is the softest material ever and you can just tell it's really good quality. I also love this because it perfectly matches the color of my Max Stone lipstick so when I wear these together it's like the dream team. I hate winter but I wouldn't mind if it cooled down a little bit so I can wear this one more often and during the day because it definitely is quite warm like it really keeps the heat in. The next couple things I have to show you are from ASOS. So the first thing that I have is just a plain white bikini. This one is a little bit different because it has like a mesh cutout in it and so do the matching bottoms just in the corner. The bottoms are quite cheeky as well which I really like. I love me some cheeky bottoms. The smaller the bikini the better. That way I get the most optimum tan. And also white bikinis are amazing because I don't know what kind of magic they have but they just make me look so much much more tan than I actually am. It's fantastic. The next thing I got from ASOS is this plain charcoal colored midi dress. It's ribbed and it is so, so comfortable. It's a midi length and it has a slit cut out on one side. It's super stretchy and I think I slept in this one time. Really love it. It's a very versatile piece. Goes really nicely with some of my more statement things in my wardrobe. I did go thrifting the other day and I picked up two items which I absolutely love. First one is this taupey brown brown colored skirt and it has the highest thigh split ever on this side. It's really stretchy and it sits just below my belly button so it's not as high waisted as I usually wear but I'm actually really enjoying that look. It's very hippie and gypsy like. It's also not a mini length. I find that I just don't really wear my mini skirts as much as I used to. I feel like I'm showing too much skin and I never thought I would say that but I guess like I'm growing up and becoming more mature and you know that's part of the process. The next thing that I got from the op shop also is just above the knee this really gorgeous eggplant colored slip this is really different to my other slips because the front is a cowl neck and I don't own anything with a cowl neck if you ask me if I like them I would have definitely been like fuck no but this dress totally sold me the color is beautiful it looks exactly like the eggplant emoji slips are just so comfortable I saw my friend Evelyn wearing this skirt when she came up from Sydney to Brisbane for the weekend she put on the skirt and I was like where'd you get that I need to go buy it. And this is from Misguided. It's a ribbed high-waisted black midi skirt but it's a bit longer than a midi style it's probably like a T length but the special thing about it is that it has a super high thigh split up the side and I like to turn it so then it's showing my leg tattoo that I have on the other leg it's actually meant to be showing the leg without my tattoo but it looks exactly the same if I just twist it around. But the next two items that I got are from Zara and these are my last clothing pieces and I really just wanted something super plain that I could chuck on anytime and possibly sleep in. So I tried on this t-shirt which turned out to be more of a dress length on me. This t-shirt is super duper long and I can literally wear it as a t-shirt dress because t-shirt dress means I don't have to choose pants or a skirt or anything, I just chuck this on and get out the door. So I ended up buying it in the grey as well which I'm wearing today and I have been wearing for the last like two days because I also sleep in this but you know I'm a lazy bitch and if I can save time in my life, I will. That concludes all of the clothes that I picked up. I only have two beauty items, I suppose. First one is just to replace the one that I had before. This is the Breath of Fresh Air Facial Mist from Lush. I had the tea tree one before, and I really, really do like that one. But um, they didn't have it in stock, so I thought I would give this one a go. I really like this as well. They both kind of get the job done. But one thing that I will say is that the packaging for this used to be a lot better. Like, the old spritzer spritzed your whole face. The mist was a lot more fine. Whereas with this one, I don't know if you can tell, 
but it kind of goes more streamlined and I feel like it's attacking my face. The next thing I picked up is this Bondi Sand Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk. I used to have the Dove one. It did naturally tan me. It just took ages to dry. And like I said, I'm an impatient girl. I just want it to dry straight away and then put on my clothes. So I decided to give this one a go. This one definitely sinks into the skin a lot faster than my Dove one. So I've definitely been feeling this. Okay, so next we have the sneakers that I bought. I have three pairs to show you guys. First pair which are my Reeboks you guys would have already seen if you watched my last video. These are definitely the most comfortable out of all three pairs of shoes. If you want more info on them watch the last video because they were in my favorites because I absolutely love these. Like one time I wore them for 12 hours and my feet felt pristine. It's like a cushion inside here like I slide my foot in and it just feels like my foot is being caressed from all angles. So happy I bought them. The next pair I picked up are my Vans Old Schools. I freaking love the look of these shoes and I wanted to wear them every day when I got them. But the thing is, surprisingly, these are so hard to break in. I literally bled on both of the back of my ankles from this part for the first two days that I wore them. Like I had to put band-aids on and put like a cushion thing in them because they were just so painful. Like I did not see that coming. I thought these would be the least painful shoes to break in. Other than that, I love them. They look so cute and they have a suede, a leather part and also a canvas part and they're just a classic shoe, you know, so cute. I do think they would look better once I've worn them in a little bit. I'll also note that I bought these from the kids section at City Beach. I have tiny feet. I'm a size 5 in women's and I measured these up against my other vans that I have which are a size 5 women's and these which are a size 3 in boys or kids or something like that are the exact same size as size 5 women so if you're a size 5 woman go ahead and pick up some kids shoes these were like almost half the price of the adult ones speaking of kids shoes I also picked up the Nike Air Force ones and this is what they look like I absolutely adore these they are super duper comfortable didn't need to be broken in at all and the only thing is they're white and I haven't gotten any shoe protectant. I'm so paranoid about them every time I wear them out. And that concludes most of the things I bought since my last haul. I may have missed something but you'll probably see it in a lookbook if I have. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!